When I was young and gay and my age was seventeen, I sighed for a lover night and day. I was going along one day when a man stepped up to me and I walked away with a good-for-nothing man. He come home from a spree and he broke his trousers knee and the tail of his shirt was hanging now. In the middle of the night, sure he wanted me to fight. Had him I let fly, pulled his hair and blacked his eyes, and I hit him on the smeller with the pot. I picked up the rolling pin and I let it into him, and I called him a good-for-nothing man. So he began to bawl, and to Bobby's they were called, and they walked away, my good-for-nothing man. So all you married women free, keep your spirits up like me, and never let your husband cow you down. <laughs>
when I meet a pretty maid, and on to her I said, may I wind up your little ball of yarn? Oh, no, kind sir, she said, you're a stranger unto me. You had better go to those who got money and gay clothes for to wind up a little ball of yarn. But I took that pretty maid and I rolled her in the shade not thinking I was doing any harm. While the blackbird and the thrush sang loudly on the bush as I wound up that little ball of yarn. Then that pretty maiden rose and placing down her clothes straight to her mammy she did go. I tripped across the plain afraid I might be seen after winding up a little ball of yarn. Now come all you fair young ladies and a warning take by me never you be led astray. Listen what I say a warning take by me keep your end on your little ball of yarn. As I went a walking one midsummer's morning, one midsummer's morning just at break of day, and who should I meet but a fair pretty lady, a fair pretty lady all on the highway. I took hold of her hand and I bid her good morning saying, where are you going so early this way? Oh, kind sir, she said, I'm a-going to Lisbon, the beautiful city, that's where I was born. We both travelled on, and we travelled together, on till we came to an old shady tree. She sat herself down, and I sat myself by her, no one could we hear or no one could we see. We both then played cards, we played there together. She threw down her haze and she stole the jack from me and that made her I a low jack in the game. I put on my hat and I bid her good morning. She said, sir, when will you be coming this way again? For if you are come, ming this way tomorrow, then we will play the game over again. And thus where a woman can conquer a man. Young Billy Taylor was a smart young fellow, but he was a false and deceitful young man. And tomorrow morning he is going to be married to a girl in our town. So if you get up tomorrow morning, just before the break of day, then you'll see your young Billy Taylor walking with his lady gay. A brace of pistols she did call for, a brace of pistols to her command, and there she shot that young Billy Taylor with his bride on his right hand. Was of a comely young lady fair Walked out one night for to take the air She meet with a sailor all on her way And to them I paid 
attention to them I paid attention to hear what they did say says William Lady why roam alone since the night of come and the day's near gone she says while tears from her eyes did fall it's my dark eyed sailor it's my dark eyed sailor that proves of my downfall it's three long years since he left this land and I took a gold ring home from my hand. We broke the token and apart with it. And now the others rolling. And now the others rolling. At the bottom of the sea Says William Drive him now from your mind There's another sailor As good you'll find those words it drew her fond heart in flame she says on me you shall play no game she drew her dagger and thus did cry for my dark-eyed sailor, for my dark-eyed sailor, a maid I'd live and die. His jet-black eyes and his curly hair and his pleasing tongue did my heart ensnare gentle and kind not a skulk like you to try and entice a maiden to try to entice a maiden to slide a jacket blue. It was of the ring then did William draw, and she seemed distressed in his joy and woe. Saying, Welcome, William, all land and gold is for my dark eyed sailor, is for my dark eyed sailor, so manly, true, and bold. Now down in the village, down by the sea, they lives in wedlock and have fever. 
Now all girls be true while your love's away. For often a cloudy morning, often a cloudy morning brings forth a sunshine day. I went out in a boat one day, the boat began to rock. The little fish, it jumped up and bit off the end of me. Cock-a-doodle, cock-a-doodle, lost the leg of my drawers. If you catch them, iron and starch them, send them back to the boars. Being a chick as big as a hen, my mother hit me and I hit her again. My father come in to order me out, and I picked up the poker and knocked his eye out. I'm an nipper and the skipper and the nappy on the line. Five and twenty bob a week besides my overtime. The nappy likes the maidens and the maidens likes the fun. There's nothing like a nappy when the railway's on. Roast beef, boiled beef, pudding made with eggs. Along came a nappy with a pair of wooden legs. Legs like broomsticks, belly like a drum. It's damn and bugger the nappy when the railway's done. In Thornham Woods near Buckinghamshire, there was three keepers, they live near. They don't live a mile from each other's door, right the dull diddle dull day. Me and my dogs went out one night, right for laddity, right for lay. Me and my dogs went out one night, right the dull diddle dull day. Over inches, ditches, gates, and stiles, with my three dogs close after my heels, we'll catch a fat buck in thorny moor fields, right fall the dull little dull day. The very first night we had bad luck, my very best dog, his heart got struck. My very best dog, he got struck, right fall the dull little dull day. He came to me, both bloody and lame. I said, you're not fit to follow the game. I said, you're not fit to follow the game. Right fall the dull diddle dull day. I searched his wounds, I found they were slight. That's some damn keeper that's done it for spite. That some damn keeper has done it for spite. Right fall the dull diddle dull day. I'll take my pike staff in my hand and I'll range those woods till I find that man and I'll hammer his head well if I can right fall the dull diddle dull day. I search those woods all that night I search those woods until the daylight I search those woods until the daylight right fall the dull diddle dull day. The very first thing that ever I found, it was a large fat buck lay dead on the ground. And I said, my dog gave you your death wound, right fall the dull diddle dull day. You would have laughed to see poor limpin' Jack, to see how he stood with that buck on his back. He was like a Yorkshire man with a pack, right fall the dull diddle dull day. Now the very first joint I offered for sale, it was to an old cook that brewed bad ale, and that was the old bugger gave me six months in jail, right fall the dull diddle dull day. And now my trial is drawing near, and to the justice meeting I have to appear, and when my trial has gone and passed, that damned old judge can kiss my ass. Blue waistcoats and trousers That lady put on And away she went to hand 
hunting with her dogs and her gun. She went into the fields where the farmer used to go. Three times she did fire, but nothing did she kill. Three times she did fire, but nothing did she kill. Then into the field that farmer did go. Then she went and made the alarm that she had lost her purse. And if any man can find it and bring it to me, and if he is not marrying his bride, I will be. So when that young farmer, he heard of the news, straight to that lady, that farmer did go, saying, lady of your honour, I have found your purse. And now will you grant to me your kinder propose? That's already made, now that lady did say. For I love the sweet breath of a farmer in man. To be missus of my dairy, go milking my cows, while my jolly young farmer goes whistling out to plough. Oh, fisherman, fisherman, one, two, three, if you've got a sheep crab, you can sell to me. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, one, two, three, I got a sheep crab, I can sell to thee. I catch the little fellow up by the backbone, and I put him in a bag and marched away home, singing Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, and the wind blew fair in the merry morning. When I got home, my wife was asleep, and I put him in the chamber alive to keep. Singing Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, and the wind blew fair in the merry morning. My wife got out to do what she want, and the crab jumped up and caught her by the Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, and the wind blew fair in the merry morning. Oh, John, no, oh, John, there's something wrong. The devil's in the chamber poking up his horn, singing Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding. And the wind blew fair in the merry morning. Oh, wife, oh, wife, you must be mad if you can't tell the devil from a little she crab, singing Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding. And the wind blew fair in the merry morning. So I took the chamber and Mrs. took the broom and we marched the little fellow right out of the room singing Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding, Jimmy Yingy Dingy Ding and the wind blew fair in the merry morning. There was a man come from the Northland he came here one day unto me he said he would take me back to the Northland, and that's where he would marry me, marry me, and that's where he would marry me. You get me some of your mother's food, and some of your father's gold, 
and take me tonight to your father's stable, where nags do stand thirty and three, where nags do stand thirty and three. You take me tonight to your father's stable, where nags do stand thirty and three. I got him some of my mother's food and some of my father's gold. I took him that night to my father's stable where eggs to stand thirty and three. Mount on, mount on, my pretty Polly, mount on, mount on, cried he. Till we came down by the wide riverside, those words that he shouted to me. Pull up, pull up, my pretty Polly, pull up, pull up, cried he. For six pretty maidens I have a-drowned here, the seventh now you shall be, the seventh now you shall be. For six pretty maidens I have a-drowned here, the seventh now you shall be. You take me off your rich silk gowns, and hand them over to me. For it looks a pity such fine gowns as that, to be rotted all in the salt sea, the salt sea, to be rotted all in the salt sea. You turn your back to the facing of me, in viewing those flowers so gay. For it isn't a fit in such roughing as you for a naked young woman to see. He turned his back to the facing of her in viewing those flowers so gay. She put her arms around his waist and bundled him in the salt sea, the salt sea. She bundled him in the salt sea. Oh, take me out, my pretty Polly. Oh, take me out, cried he. Oh, take me out, my pretty Polly, my bride, then you will be, will be, my bride, then you will be. Lie there, lie there, you false-hearted man, lie there in the place of me. For six pretty maidens you have a drowned ear, for the seventh have drowned a day. The seventh have drowned a day. For six pretty maidens you have a drowned ear, for the seventh have drowned a day. She mounted on her lily white steed and got hold of her damper grey. She got back to her father's house three hours before it was day. Now don't you flutter, nor flutter, Polly, nor tell no tales on me. Your cage shall be made of the glitter and gold, and your door of the best ivory, your door of the best ivory. Your cage shall be made of the glitter and gold, and your door of the best ivory. Once I proposed to a nice young girl who stood about six foot three, and when I said, Marry me, Mary Han, she turned around and she said, Young man, I'd marry you here upon the spot, but you're only four foot two. Oh, that's no difference, I cried out, I don't mind telling you. I'm just beginning to sprout, to sprout, I'm just beginning to sprout. The doctor says in a month or more that I shall grow up and be six foot four. So if you'll marry me now, 
without the slightest doubt. I'm not so short as you think I am, I'm just beginning to sprout. Now I am a fellow that takes a delight in making me home look nice. At the back of our house I do declare, we have such a lovely garden there. I've planted seeds all round about and they do look nice and pat. We haven't exactly got any flowers, but none no more for that. They're just beginning to sprout, to sprout, they're just beginning to sprout. You want to gaze on our lovely peas, scarlet runners and cabbages. Talk about the turn of tops, the air of fair knockout. And although the real bob isn't in bloom, it's just beginning to sprout. Ooh, it's just beginning to sprout, to sprout, just beginning to sprout. And although the real bob isn't in bloom, it's just beginning to sprout. Now I have a complexion quite compared with all the girls I see. And every one they cry, great Scott, oh, what a lovely face you got. Lovely eyes, beautiful hair, and everything pray. But a dear little wart on the back of my neck I noticed yesterday was just beginning to sprout, to sprout, was just beginning to sprout. The girls keep kissing me all the day, trying to charm that wart away. They kiss me on the back of the neck and they make me laugh and shout. In fact, they do what they like with me, because I'm just beginning to sprout. <laughs>
beat the drums merrily, play the fives cheerily, play the dead march as you carry me on. Take me to the churchyard, fire six valleys over me. It will show I'm a young man cut down in my prime. Now on my tombstone there'll be three verses written. All you young men take a warning by me. Don't you never go a courting the girls of the city. Pray stay at home and keep good company. me um, five more went out one night all in Squire Daniel's par for to catch some game it was our intent but the night it did prove dark and we were upended there by his speed and brought back to Northampton jail. And there to lie till our trials come off and our bodies to be sold. And we were sent for fourteen years across to Van Danum's land. We were nine long months and better boys a ploughing the region sea. No port nor harbour did we draw nigh, nor no place could we see. Only the dark and the deep blue sea all round and above is our blue sky we had no shoes nor stockings on nor scarce any clothes to wear only linsey drawers and leather frogs and our head and feet went bare. I am Jim the Cult, a lad and a merry sport am I. I'm always contented if the weather's wet or dry. I crack my fingers at the snow and I whistle at the rain. I've braved the storm for many a day and I can do the same again. Crack, crack, goes my whip, I whistle and I sing. I sit upon the wagon as happy as a king. My horse is always willing, as for me I'm never sad. And none can lead a jollier life than Jim the Counter lad. My father was a wagoner many years before I was born. He used to rise at daybreak and do his rounds each morn, and then he'd take me with him, and especially in the spring. I'd love to sit upon the cart and hear my father sing. Crack, crack, goes my whip, I whistle and I sing. I sit upon the wagon as happy as a king. My horse is always willing, as for me I'm never sad, and there's none can lead a jollier life. Then Jim the Counter Land. 
The girls, they all smile on me as I go driving past. My horse is such a beauty, and she jogs along so fast. I've travelled for many a weary mile, and happy hours we've had. And none can lead a jollier life than Jim the Counter Lad. There was a poor old beggar man come tripling over the plain. He called into a farm, there's some lodgings for to gain. Rove along, rove away, rove around, rove away. The old farmer, he came out and he searched the beggar around. He says, you are a dirty beggar man and no lodgings can be found. Rove along, rove away, rove around, rove away. Then the daughter, she came out and she searched the beggar around. She says, he's not a dirty beggar man and some lodgings can be found. Rove along, rove away, rove around, rove away. She took him into the barn and she made him a bed with hay. She made it soft and easy and along with him she laid. Rove along, rove away, rove around, rove away. She rose early next morning before the break of day. She took him into her father's house to make him a cup of tea. Rove along, rove away. Rover rango rover thee. The old farmer he came down, he began to curse and swear. He picked all of the beggar's bag and he dashed it against the wall. May the devil have the beggar's bag and make him fair and all. Rove along, rove lay, rove rango rover thee. Oh, I'm a lonely widow, yes, and you can plainly see. I'm looking out for number two to share his love with me. Now, for a loving husband, yes, my best I will contrive, as long as he's over seventeen and under ninety-five. I'll make a loving wife, yes, I will upon my life, for I'm just as good as ever I was twenty years ago. I've been searching everywhere, trying to find a bow. Would anyone like to marry me? I'm the mother of twenty-two. Not so young as I used to be, but I'm just as good as new. Now I had the hoffer yesterday to be a blushing bride. At nine o'clock he saw me face and ten o'clock he died. My Roman nose and ruby lips, the young men they all praise. One squeezed me slender waist and broke the whalebone of my stays. Don't miss a chance like this, or my face is full of bliss. But the lucky man that wins my heart must have no end of quids. Come straight home from work at night and help to bath the kids. And then if he behaves himself and don't give me no cheek, I'll let him have a penny shave and a woodbine once a week. <laughs> So don't let me ask in vain, here I'll tell you once again, I'm just as good as ever I was twenty years ago. I've been searching everywhere, trying to find a bow. Would anyone like to marry me? I'm the mother of twenty-two. Not so young as I used to be, but I'm just as good as new. One morning on the mid-ocean, in the merry month of June, I heard a damsel talking, her sorrows it was grief and woe. She was consulting with young Bony Bunch, saying, Beware of the bunny bunch of roses. Now, when we got into Moscow, our army was covered in drift. 
and snow. And Moscow was a blazing. So we turn by broken hearted. We had lost to the bunny bunch of roses. Oh. Up stepped the son to his mother. He catched her all by the lily white hand. Saying, Mother, dear, have patience. You wait until I do grow a man. I will gain you a terrible army. A And kings and princes shall join we. I will gain you the bunny bunch of roses, oh. My son, don't you talk so venturously. For England is the heart of all. There is England, Ireland, and Scotland. Their thrones they never have been broke. And Bony Part was your father. In St. Helena, his body lies low. You may soon follow after him, so beware of the bunny bunch of roses. Now when I am dead and buried, and the weeping willow growing over my head, and the song of the throne shall be singing. Beware of the bunny bunch of roses. It was early, early, all in the spring. Down in those meadows, growing green, a fair young lady I chanced to see, and I asked her if she would walk with me. I asked her if she would walk with me, down in those meadows, all so green. I'd show her flowers and pretty things And I'd show her what she had never seen As that young couple went strolling along He sang to her some sweet pretty songs He sang to her some sweet pretty songs and soon he gained her favor. Now since you had your will of me, and stolen away my sweet liberty, you have stolen away my sweet liberty, will you please tell me your name, sir? My name is Catch Me, that's if you can. I'll marry you when I return. I'll marry you when I return. I'm going across 
the wide ocean. Now three long months they had gone and passed, and six long months he never returned. Nine long months it had come at last, and that child has gone no father. Now I'll search this wide world around and round, and I'll find that young man if I can. I'll find that young man if I can, if I catch him at his pleasure. was an old farmer in Leicester, had a daughter to market to go. She was never afraid of no danger, cause she'd been on the highway before. Till she met with a bold and young robber, six chamber he held to her breast. Saying, deliver your money and clothing, or else you shall die in distress. He stripped the young damsel stark naked, and the bridal rain gave her to old. And there she stood shivering and shaking, and starving to death with the cold. She put her left foot in the stirrup And she mounted her horse like a man Over edges and ditches she galloped Saying, catch me, bull rogue, if you can She rode to the gates of her father's And shouted all over the farm Saying, dear father, I've been in great danger, but the rogue he have done me no harm. She put her grey mare in the stable, and she spread a white sheet on the floor, and counted the money twice over. There were three thousand pounds, if not more. Fiddling and dancing in the clover, on by dancing on the green. Fiddling and dancing in the clover when I was a young girl about sixteen. Rally up a rally up a rally up a rider, for man's labour is never done. I come home both wet and weary, no dry clothes to put on my white leather bed till the sun shined on her, darn her old rags with no day get along. <laughs> Kick it away, you pretty boys, oh, kick it away your time. Kick it away, you pretty boys, and now show your time. Diddle dim to do to dum a dee to dum a dee die. Diddle dim to do to dum a doodle dim to do dum. Diddle dim to dum a doodle dim to do die. Diddle dim to do dum dum. Toodle laddy, you think I'm going to get me in the census? And when I was a young man, I used to court the wenches. Diddle laddy, to dum a dee to dum a laddy, and it's dum a an old miser near London did dwell, and he had but one daughter that a sailor loved well. And when the old miser, he was out of the way, she was with that young sailor 
by night and by day. No one that old miser he came for to know. Straight to the ship's captain, straight away he did go. Saying, Captain, bull captain, good news I've to tell. I've got your little sailor as a transport to sell. Now on that young damsel, she came for to know. Straight to the ship's captain, straight away she did go. Saying, Captain, bull captain, bad news I've been told. You've got my young sailor as a transport in soul. Now her hand in her pocket, she drew a handful of gold. And on the round table where she did it throw, Saying, Captain, bull captain, all that I'll give you. For my young sailor, my rights and my bow. Oh no, said the captain, such a thing can't be done. Your father have sold him as a transport to me. And I'll send him a sailing right over the main. And he'll never come in old England for to court you again. Here's a scars to my father, wherever he be. For all in his own art, he have quite ruined me. I'll go back in our little cottage, and it's there I will stay. For to mourn my young sailor, who will send far away. It was in the month of April and early in the morn. The cow's lips and the violets were growing in the lawn. The flowery, flowery mantle, it takes the fields with pride. When I meet with a lovely damsel, down by the shining side. Good morning to you, sweetheart, all unto her I cried. Where are you going so early, love? Where are you going this way? I'm going to see my father's sheep down by the shining side. But she said, young man, excuse me, my parents would be annoyed. If I am seen with any man down by the shining side, I will chance myself in strands for to you I'll give a kiss. She said, young man, be civil. What do you mean by this? 
The ground was mossy where they stood, their feet from them did slide, and they both fall down together, down by the shining side. Now three times he kissed her rosy cheeks, and she lay on the grass. And when she came to herself again, she cried out for the last. Now we both shook hands and parted, and from her I did stare. We hadn't parted many months, not more than half a year. Before we was crossing the mossy banks, my love I chanced to see. She was scarcely able for to walk down by the shining side. I pretend to take no notice and stared along my way. My love, she turned her head aside, those words to me did say. Don't never forget the fool you gave down by the shining side. And since you've had your will of me, make me your lawful bride. Don't never you leave me here to mourn, down by the shining side. There is fifty pound, all in bright gold, my father will provide. And sixty acres of good land down by the Shannon side. I said, my pretty fair girl, I love your whole farewell. But I am engaged already. The truth to you I'll tell. It's to a fair young lady who wishes to be my bride. She's a wealthy glazer's daughter down by the shining side. Now if you cannot marry me, pray tell me then your name. And when my baby it is born, I may call it the same. My name is Captain Walters, my name I will never deny. While I have men to guide me on yonder mountain's eye. Now the tears like crystal fountains Now down her cheeks did slide Saying I hope this will be a warning To all young girls besides And never to trust to no young man Down by the Shannon side Bread, 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 a little bit of bread. I got to do the washing, the old gal said. Like a lion, she began to scrub. Push my shirt through the bottom of the tub. Six months washing was done in half a jeff. And when she went to bed, in her arm she had the copper and the mangle and the chopper and a little bit of standard bread. My old woman was as weak as any rat. She couldn't beat a tablecloth, she couldn't shake a mat. If she had a little drop to put her on her feet, she hadn't strength to water, she'd have to drink and eat. 
One day I heard the lodger say, standard bread was nice. She'd feel as strong as Samson if she'd only have one slice. So she had one slice and the poor old soul, her strength she hardly knew. She pushed our lodger up the stairs and shoved me up the flue. Bread, 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 a little bit of bread. I got to do the washing, the old gal said. Like a lion she began to scrub, push my shirt through the bottom of the tub. Six months washing was done in half a jiff, and when she went to bed, in her arms she had the copper and the mangle and the chopper and a little bit of standard bread. Far, far away on the banks of the Nile, thousands of miles from his own green isle, a young Irish soldier, a gallant dragoon, read his mother's letter by the light of the moon. He strolled from the camp, that little note to read, the news that was on it made his stout heart bleed. The tears rolled down, his sunburned cheeks, dropping on that letter in his hand, saying, is it true, 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 more trouble in our native land? It told how his mother could not pay her way. The agents came to her one dark, dreary day to burn down her cabin for that trifle she owed. That widow and her children, she was cast in the road. Although she had one son, a gallant dragoon, he was a soldier and too far from home. For Wild Pat was fighting at the head of the band, his mother, she was starving in her own native land. It told how a neighbor and a great friend in need gave her some shelter in her great hour of need, gave her some shelter where the lights were burning bright. That widow and her children they shed tears of delight. I know I'm doing wrong, that poor old woman said, giving you this shelter in my old humble shed. But with all my heart you're welcome, that poor old creature sighed, and my home shall be yours till your son he returns. So the tears rolled down his sunburned cheek, dropping on that letter in his hand, saying, is it true, 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 there's more trouble in our native land. Where are you going, Lord Lovell, she says. Where are you going, said she. I'm going, my lady Nancy Bella, strange country for to sing. When will you be back, Lord Lovell, she says. When will you be back, said she. In a year or two, or three at the most, I'll return to my lady Nancy. He hadn't been gone but a year and a day, strange country for to see, when a sudden thought came to his mind, lady Nancy Bella he'd seen. 
He rolled and he rolled his milk white steed till he came through London town. And there he heard St. Peter's bells and the people all mourning round. Oh, what is the matter, Lord Love, O oh, Sin? Oh, what is the matter, said he? A lady is dead, a woman replied. Some calls her Lady Nancy. Lady Nancy, she died as it may be today. Lord Lovell, he died tomorrow. Lady Nancy was buried at the lower churchyard, and he was buried at the tower. And on one's grave grew a red rosebud, and the other was wreaths and flowers. That red rose tree, it grew so high, it grew to the churchyard tower. And on the top form a true love's knot that all true loves admired. Have anyone here seen a piece of string? To find it I do intend. Have anyone here seen a piece of string? With a poodle dog at the end. Oh, where, oh, where is my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where is the thing? I suppose my dog will return some day in a tin of American bee. Lie down, diddly da, diddly da, diddly da, diddly da, diddly I went down the cosy old lane, a sweet girl rambled with me. She sat down on the mossy bank, and I sat down on the bay. Oh, where, oh, where is that bumblebee gone? Where, oh, where can it be? No, I don't know where that bumblebee's gone, but I do know where it stung me. Now I went down to the briny sea to get to bathe you can bend and as soon as I touched the seaweed I knew it was going to be wet. Oh, where, oh, where is my trousers gone? My hat, my coat, and my vest. Someone has stolen all my clothes, and I can't get on like this. Now I am a man that's not fond of work. A pound a week is my wage. When I got home last Saturday night, my wife, she yelled in a rage. Where, oh, where is your wages, John? I have got it right here. One shilling I've brought home in coppers, my love, and nineteen shillings in beer. Where are you going to, my pretty maid? Where are you going, my Annie? She answered me quite cheerfully. I'm an errand for my mummy with my root of my day. Full of the delay, whack for the little I do. May I come to my fair pretty maid? May I come to my honey? You may for me, kind sir, she says, and of course.
course you're kindly welcome with my real dumber day for the delay white for the lira lido how oh, hold are you my fair pretty maid how oh, hold are you my honey she answered me quite cheerfully i am seventeen come sunday with my real dumber day hold the delay wag for a little i do her shoes was white and her stockings was black her buckles shine like silver she had a dark and a rolling eye and her hair it danged in ringlets with a rude dumb a day folded in the lay wag for the lair do will you come down to my mammy's house when the moon shine bright and clearly if you'll come down i will let you in and my mammy shall not hear you with my rude a day for the delay wake for the lira lido now i went down to her mammy's house when the moon shined bright and clearly i went down and she let me in and she rolled in my arms till morning with the rude a day for the delay wake for the lira lido she says now will you marry me say yes no never never and if you will not marry me i'm a girl undone forever with my real dumb a day, folded the delay, whack for the little I do.